everybody, it's Gina Mizell here alongside Connor Letourneau. We are at Research Stadium after day three of Oregon State fall camp. First day in pads and shells, I guess you could say, shoulder pads and shorts. But um, the last day that practice was split between the veterans and the newcomers, it was a defensive availability day. Um, what did you What did you glean out of today? I got to talk a while with Tristan Decoud, who's the junior college transfer who's competing for that cornerback spot off, opposite Larry Scott. The main guy he's going with going against with that, for that is uh, Dwayne Williams. Obviously, Decoud's a much bigger guy. Um, he's very physical. He's been getting praised by his teammates. Kind of an interesting story. Bounced around. Uh, was didn't qualify out of high school. Went to a D2 school. Uh, ended up transferring to uh, Nichols State and then uh, you know couldn't get immediate eligibility there so went to a JUCO last year so this is actually his fourth school wow. he, he sees that as a benefit because he said he gleaned little things from every coaching staff and he's kind of uh, you know taking that here and as as ev like everyone else in the secondary he's learning from Larry Scott Larry Scott's become a big brother for him absolutely Larry Scott and uh, Cyril Nolan Lewis and Justin Strong the top returners in the secondary for the Beavers going to the defensive line or maybe linebacker Joshua James I asked him today I was like are you a linebacker or are you a defensive end he kind of smiled and said I'm a football player which means he's going to be kind of in that hybrid type of a role Kalani Sataki confirmed as much today saying that he will drop into coverage and, and play up versus with his hand down on certain plays that's obviously a, a big thing for the linebacking core that obviously lost a big piece in Daryl Sanji um, a couple of weeks ago yeah and James is a guy who started out as a linebacker mm -hmm. and basically didn't see a lot of opportunity there a couple of years ago so self-selected and asked to go to the end, gain some weight. But he's a guy who I always thought could, could, could do either. Yeah, and Cyril Nolan Lewis also could kind of be that hybrid safety linebacker type of a guy, someone who could maybe come closer to the ball in certain formations and certain packages. So it, kind of a, a creative way, not just to be um, schematically different, but also you need some depth at that spot, especially in trying to run a 3-4 base. So um, the Beavers are off tomorrow. It's their first break from fall camp, and then they will come back on Wednesday and uh, offensive players and coaches will be available so we will be back here until then keep reading on OregonLive.com read the Oregonian follow us on Twitter all that good stuff and we will catch you on Wednesday